Hello everyone. Wanted to do a quick video and show you how I do the containers for hatching brine shrimp. There's so many different ways that different people do it and I actually have a combination right now of two different ways. I bought one of these brine shrimp hatchers that you can see right here and my problem is is that this valve right here is not working hardly at all anymore. When you open it up to drain out nothing happens so you have to sit and fiddle with it mess with it and it's just more trouble than it's worth and what I really like is these that I just make with a juice container and they work really well as you can see you have just a stiff tube with an airline shove it down in there and it works great to keep it from tilting over some kind of a glass jar I think this one was a candle at one point that we cleaned out and, and this was something that I got at the dollar store so I'm going to show you how to make one of these. There's two different tops here. This one I cut off completely. Much easier to cut off that way. The problem is, is that it really splashes a lot of the water and the salt out, which makes a real mess. Now the other one I just cut out a little piece here on the top. That does a great job of trapping the, the salt spray and keeping it inside, not all over the counter. But it's a lot more difficult to to cut that out of this hard plastic container. Now, these are juice containers, like you get orange juice in. They're very heavy plastic. Um, you know, Indian River, um, Uncle Matt's, any of them have a real heavy plastic. And these two particular jars have been going for several years. So I'm gonna show you how I make another one because I've gotta replace this, this big old thing here that the valve doesn't work. These guys are just nicer anyway. Now, you may know an easier way to do these jars because I've only do one every couple of years, so I never do it very well. Here's my container from the dollar store. Uh, it's for little mints or I, I don't know what for. I also use these to put in peat and use it in tanks for the, for the peat spawning killifish. So they get a lot of different things that they're used for. Here's my juice container. It's going to fit right in there to stabilize it so it doesn't fall over. So that's where we're heading with that. Now, one of the things you want to do is you want to take a container, a quart size container, fill it up with water. Remember, the quart containers are right up to the top, not up to this point. It's right up to the top. You want to fill it up and pour it into your jar. Then turn your jar upside down because that's the way you're going to use it. And then make a mark where the line, where that quart of water because you're going to use six to eight teaspoons of salt per gallon of water. That means a quart's going to get two teaspoons of salt. Very easy. Fill it up to here, add two teaspoons of salt. Your measurements are perfect every single time. Now, I can always cut it all the way around here, but remember that makes it splash more. So I'm going to try cutting out just this middle section here. And it's probably not going to be very pretty. I'm going to start, I, I may have used a drill to drill some holes and then connected them. I don't remember. I'm going to start out trying to do it with a razor blade. See what happens. It's going to require me to really press down. And if I'm lucky, I'm not going to cut myself. But amazingly, is this actually on here? Yes. Well, we were on a real roll there for a minute till I hit that hard spot there. So we'll go around it. Boy. If you're a youngster, you may want to get your dad to help you with this, just so that when somebody gets cut, it's not you, it's your dad. And if you're an old guy like me, well, just try and be careful. You know how this plastic will cut. So, we'll just keep seeing how we're doing here. I'm making progress. And I'm sure there's some other tool that would do this better than what I'm doing. There we go. All right. Now, see, now I've got my hole cut. Works very nice got my jar, fill it up with water, drop in the two teaspoons of salt. Now, 
this hard thin plastic you can get at the at the uh, pet stores they'll have the little skinny stuff that's the same stuff as what goes in the the uh, airline for the sponge filters and stuff so get some airline tubing you'll just set it in there see it goes right down to the bottom you'll add your salt water add your eggs and roughly 24 hours you're ready to start hatching out your brine shrimp now how do I get the shrimp out of there I put a light on the side of the jar that'll bring all the shrimp to the bottom over to one side and then I have another contain another uh, set of tubing with a short stiff tubing and I know this is really low tech but I literally kind of like stick it down in here and suck on the other end and put it into a brine shrimp net hold it down near the bottom the the hatched eggs float the unhatched eggs are right on the bottom so hold it a little bit off the bottom and you'll get all the shrimp out then I can rinse those and feed them to the fish so that's how I do the containers for the brine shrimp maybe it'll give you some ideas how you can too it's pretty simple to do thank you for watching